players. And for attempt there for the spike to try and spike get planted. planted. Eventually, oh, yeah. it is. It is that 5v5 in the pistol round. 100 Thieves. Not seeing any players just yet, but we'll see now as the horn gets broken. It's going to be revealing a bit of the slight positioning. And there is a trade eventually there for 100 Thieves. Watching the angles, Derek. How is he claiming two there? Pop flash through into the smoke. Anti flash is being pay played by Derek. But they need to put the pressure now and apply it. Asuna knows that Boast is incredibly weak there. Comes around with a right click. Ghost online. A Mystic's position known. And just about gets him off of it. Has to run it down. Asuna now needs to win this one, but only three bullets left. And he goes for the reload. Oh my. But yeah, there are pros and cons to playing on the stage, you know. You're not. Not in a comfort zone, feels very different. Yeah, that's gonna be a big attempt to try and disrupt this one. These players are just swarming through in the first series, though not necessarily on bind. Those crossfires that have been paving the way for them. Most Molly there into the smoke, but they need to start to clear. A lot of these fanatic players who are up close and personal, Alfie here. Just ripping off heads of the Bulldog. Great movement there from Boaster to try and find these picks. But again, it's 100 Thieves. Cool, calm, and collected in it, but time is running low. Alpha, yeah. It's ticking so far down. Alpha, yeah. It was third in the round there with the nade. Has to be a stick now. Will already onto the half. There needs to be coverage for it. And Alpha, yeah. Alpha, yeah. Kills it again. The diffuser gonna be denied. Great bait. Ultimate's not gonna be having anything gained for it, but 100 Thieves still wanna be taking these fights. And Fnatic, they answer pound for pound. The reposition from Alpha, yeah, now up onto the high ground. Timing once more. Oh, he's going to be getting onto the fuse, but he is the last player standing inside the smoke. Forces the close fight. He no wins way. out. Already half on it, and Alphia is low, and the random spam eventually finds it. I see the Seekers to try and at least add that extra layer on top of this push. The safety, perhaps. The Seekers are going all over the place, and how has Derek won that one out? Seeker was eating half the damage, but he still gets the kill into Alpha, and this is suddenly looking like a scary round for Fnatic. Losing two of their players, this reload from Bosey does have his ultimate to try and play for time, but they are losing players that one player after the other, and it is just down to Boaster. This would have to be a 1v5 for Boaster to win it. Players are weak, half on it, does he not want to commit to it? Doesn't appear so. Just playing back. See whether this boombot gives any information. Not at all, Derek decides to back off. And now the player in position oh. to ruin this round is Will. Close in person, it's going to be the Viper's Pit drop down out of showers. It gives them at least a bit of a exit, some cover, I suppose, if they want. But they can't play through it. They couldn't get out into the site because of Bang's Molly. Yeah, and now there's 30 seconds left into this round, and the Spike is still sitting in showers. Fnatic, they could get absolutely bogged down here. Players are lurking and working their way up through short, and there it is. Timing playing such a crucial role. The satchel cuts its way across. Spike has to go down here. And is that spam coming down? That's just. The crossfire is a fanatic far too strong. Player standing. In order to push out of the spawn, there's a knife fall. Looks like they do want to try and make a, an attempt to contest this one, but it is, again, that utility to waves a bit. Molly going to be stopping it straight into elbow, and they're running right into the spray down of Mystic. Now, the players are low. No sound cues as well with the knife fall, but eventually that's going to be fading. And a wider swing from Derek will not be rewarded with too much still. Will is alive for their cleanup. Q. Ashton to force a jump peek in because he's like, okay, well, they could have timing it. Wonderful punish from Fnatic, and now getting right into the side. Sella was holding up close, but again, only the Spectre in his hands. Will, still here, showstopper right in the tube, and that's Alfio again claiming another. And, and an awesome decision to ult there from Alfio. You might think, oh, well, why do you need it? But that gets a guaranteed plant down. Fnatic have so many thoughts of how they want to open and how they want to secure the post plant. Dirk caught them on the lurk. Does Rifle secured. Going to be meeting her. A lot of these Fnatic players, look at this, a full group up. 5v3. Gonna be facing it, Alfie again. He wins it out, nade over the top now. Clinical stuff, just trying to clear the back of the side. A bit of a pre-fire there from Stella, okay. Just lucky claiming the one there with Mystic falling. In fact, it's Satchel over the top, Asuna. He's just playing a bench there and he's removed two of the players out of the fight. This is now a 2v2. Now, they are into the side, but there is no swing, no trade there from Asuna. He's just trying to Weave in and out once more of the two over the top. Does not find a favorable fight. It's Durka. Viper Wall is down in the Fnatic players. They're just going to contact all the way through. They're just taking the fight. They know where the players are holding. And Fnatic are barreling through them. The weaponry advantage. Massive. But it feels like that's been the case the entire oh time. Oh, and that's just Phil. The orbital strike. Why not? Oh, it's absolutely Phil. Gun. Once as well, a seize. 
start just for about a moment. Player still holding close though. What a flick from Alpha Year. They do need to deal though with these players and it's 100 Thieves who are crumbling. One after the other on the site. A fast rotation there from Will with the nade. And this one, that's going to be going just shy of the mark. Didn't quite get it, but the bullets there, the crossfire eventually finds it. A few of their players though. You know, we're on stage before. Here we go, though. 100 the damage. Oh, they're just all into the nade. Yep, and they have just taken so much there in a choke. So difficult to deal with. Still, the flank is being watched down, but it's all down to Derek. He's in the clutch. Must win pistol round. And he's been good in these clutches. But 1v2s are so difficult to win. And 1v1s are his area of expertise. I think Alfie has spotted him going into the smoke. Yeah, he does. That's where he is. They're just giving him all the space because they know, look at the time pressure. There's only 10 seconds, Ten seconds. remaining. 10 seconds left. Essentially, Derek has to stick the plant here. No buffer. Nothing to work with. Back up a time with the swing. Ooh. There, drop down to one health. No charges. Just being squeezed from every angle. Has no idea where Boaster is, but just does not have the health to contend. Hey. Mark, of course, at their back. And Fnatic, ah. I mean, Alpha here with a Bulldog again. 30 seconds it, left. Just been so I good planted. with that weapon. So good with every weapon. And just patience being played there by the Fnatic players, making sure that they get the players in position. And look at the amount of damage that Alpha is just offloading. That one sideline, that one angle, it matters not. Two players left standing for 100 Thieves to try and disrupt this one. A tap of the spike. They all come crumbling down for whatever reason. Fully aware that this B hit's coming through. Quick little satchel play across the money. He's going to be whipping and missing. So. Kills are going to be flowing into the way direction there with 100 of these players. The snake fight on the ground is going to be both to just to escape his way out of there. So round on the board is looking highly likely now for 100 thieves, but does it bode well for the rest of this? Still, the Fnatic players. We saw 100 thieves nearly win a 2v5. Yeah. Enzo and Alpha have made their way into backside, and Alpha's got the bulldog. There's so much positioning here, but yeah. A lot of utility to try and Last cross. Trying to play the anti-flash position. Gonna be that triple face though to contain in the pit. They know that Enzo is still there. He's a thorn in the side of this de defensive oh. post-plan setup that 100 Thieves are trying to hold on to, and it could be everything with the orbital strike. It forces them right into the grass, and Fnatic capitalize. Still a 3v3, but they know where the rest of them are. Just spamming it straight down the corner with a tap onto the spike. A smoke to cover it as well. It's a full stick from Boaster. Full confidence and faith in the rest of his team. So just roll over. Absolutely collapse. But Doug was saying it. 100 Thieves were all smiles heading out. Yeah. Asna gets two with the Vandal. That's pretty great. That can be recovered by the rest of the team as well. <laughs> Doug doesn't really have a weapon. Okay. Tries to play off the paranoia there, yeah, but weapons are going to be able to be recovered. He will as well. Didn't actually buy it this one. Picks up the rifle for himself. It's going to be an easy plant. But a large success Thank story, you. I think, a large part of the success for 100 Thieves has been that supportive staff. You know, players like Sean Garris, or I should say the coach of Sean yeah. Garris. You have Mike's as well alongside them. But I think, too, so much credit has to be given to these players for absorbing that structure and being happy to play within it yeah and trusting it actually being moldable you know, by all the experience that, uh, that the 100 thieves have and bang cleans up both of those players on the flank oh, it's handy. he wants to try and supplement this for a bit of a squeeze like that is an amazing players. paranoia it's a solo play but it way okay ends up working out nevertheless Enemy kill. that was so good the angle of that caught both of the players from Fnatic trying to defend and now can Durka make a miracle happen? Kills. He's just beaming people. This guy might be a bit of a menace right now with a haunt over the top. That's going to be destroyed, but it reveals the positioning. At least he knows where some of the players might be. So he's over the top, drops himself down, eventually dealt with. 2v2. But 100 of these players, they are grouped up in hell. Trying to isolate these fights. A bit of a wider swing of smoke. Just in the way, the shot's going wide and out for you, just sticking onto the defuse. He's got half online. Down to that 1v1, a tap it in and a flick, one shot will do it. Falling, there is no setup now. No Nano Swarms to be popped off there. But Bosta has a judge. Yeah, and this guy can look like the final boss at times! Swinging through, that's gonna be two. One after the other. And with the spike drop down, he has completely shut down this push. The rest of his team, time has been bought for them. 
And a contact play through the smoke will not come up with anything. The 100 Thieves have been putting so much emphasis on that mid control. Exactly. And he's got the support of Enzo, who will be throwing out utility for Durka to peek off. Near Lambot. It gives him the timing. In fact, forget about timing. Durka wants to take it himself. We're not get out of it with his life, though. Great shot. Yeah, the kills come through, but how are you going to get past this? Well, Asuna is the answer. Claim that rifle down into mid. And it is a lot of chaos. Was Mystic spotted? I don't think he was. Yeah, this round is looking odd. Yeah, Mystic this just comes so down deep. to timings here. He could get a magical timing, and there you go. Great time for the swing. Flash. Doesn't know where Boaster is, and that was just a footstep that gives the IGL of Fnatic an opportunity. It's everything! What is that? Zero in 1v1 since early May. Here comes Durka. Oh, yeah, it's a play being made. The flashes are just being dumped into it. 100 Thieves have dealt you with this one relatively kindly, though. And now the Resurrect's going to be online as well. So that player advantage that... Not even advantage, it was just even for what them. A reaction! Yeah, it's an instantaneous reaction with a TP play. That's crazy. If they I have no goal. idea. Yep, they had no idea the play was there, but still. You have to know one's in market, and Enzo is close here. This is potentially spammable for the players who are on the site, and there you go, finally. They ping it out, they pre fire the corner. Althea has only got a spectre here, and Asuna's watching the flank coming through. B main control, incredibly important. Zero point online. If Asuna decides Jittery to use the knife, this would be bad timing. Yeah, I mean, he was looking all over the bloody shop, wasn't yeah. he? Just based on the crosshair placement, and now, how do Fnatic. Uh, sorry, how do 100 Thieves deal with this one? They're they going wall. They want to try and push and break through it all the way. They're not to get to it. The fuck? Just hold player. on to Paranoia. And wow, investing the Nightfall into this one too. Yeah, the smoke into the Paranoia. Dead. Does enough to dissuade it. He has been stuck though. The C's over the top. Just latched him to the side of this lane. And the 100 Thieves players, they need to get in here. And the Paranoia just goes completely wide. And enough time being bought. The Fnatic players. <laughs> Help him out, swinging through, lovely angle that Enzo finds here, but a rifle in the hands of Derek. A little bit too much to ask for, though, to try and win that one in a 1v4. Must play a pretty key part in this one, but now you're going to start to see an old command offloaded, and there's the Odin spam, a crossfire setup. Durga was on top of it, can go absolutely anywhere, but he's resetting his aim. This guy's just feeling right at home. Fnatic shut down that approach. For defense, don't get me wrong, there's no duelist comp. But Dirk is also going to be doing so much for them on attack. Yeah, Cloudburst at the feet just to try and help him out. And Larson is just wading right into it. Hoping to claim a kill or two. He had a flash in his hands, I believe. Down to just Derek and Bang. Making a lot of noise in the process as they are on to the side with 20 seconds left remaining. Honestly, the best Bang could probably hope for is a spike plant. Especially when Dirk is playing like this. I mean, the guy. The menace unleashed. The five so going through. He's going to be denied the ace. Be so much more nimble than he can take some liberties. If he had the operator online, yeah, it's going to allow him to really just get stuck into this fight now with a paranoia. Scanners over to the side. What? <laughs> what is that, Turka? You are an absolute menace to society right now. Running rings around him. They're not even sure as to where he is. But Bang whips it around anyway. A quick reset. Once more, Derek from the back of the site. There he is. The back of the site, see if he can lock this one. The player swarming into him, he needs to find a favorable fight. But he has bought critical time. The rest of the Fnatic players make sure that they contain any of it. And with the spike dropped down, and Derek just in no man's land. It is going to be the round secured there for Fnatic. Derek's just stuck in another one of these unwinnable clutches, man. Used as well, all sorts of utility. Now a paranoia. Cuts his way through, there's gonna be the nade. Rebounds nice. off the side and finally the lockdown is dealt with. And timing, Mystic contains. Will was trying to get that late. Look, already to push the attempt, the retake. It's come through, down to just Asana. But what can you really do? Locked down with the C's at his feet. Bail him, get him out. out of there for free. Yeah. And Fnatic are set up now for a quite a nice A split. What a shot from Mystic. Completely isolating that fight. Now it's down to Bang to see if he can lock it down, but it's the running gun in action once more. Yeah. Nice and stop all right now, straight through the choke point. Shots need to land. And the Thieves come out on top, it seems, now in a 2v2. Got us into a bit more of a winnable situation. What a round it needs to be for him. Mystic just jiggling with the movement, holding close. It's a flick of the wrist, and Durka makes sure that he sidesteps it. Through. Doesn't actually tag onto any of the members of 100 Thieves who are trying to anchor this one, but shots matter now with a flash. He clears the way, and the better weaponry will do the job. And the classic just is not quite enough. 
A lot of damage being done, but it's going to be that safe. Wow, it's an attempt by Derek, just running him down. Only the shorty to work with. 10 to 4 here. Enzo is in B main. He's the first character that needs to be dealt with for the whole oh, of the flash. And it just looks inevitable. Fnatic, they're combining all their utility. The players of 100 teams, they can barely stand up to it. Just running, trying to trade each other out. It's down to just Will on top of lane. But again, he has been dealt with easily enough. It's a timing there. But, okay, a bit of a whiff there with an Anna Swamp. Still a flash play and a repeat. That's Asana. Let's claim the one with Durka removed. Could still be winnable, but look at how diligent Fnatic are with the utility that they're using. Just to make sure that they clear every single corner. Bang! One reposition, and he's off to the side. One after another. The shots are rattled off with a sheriff in his hand. Short work of the Fnatic play. And you asked, Bren, about a heroic... Do they already know the presence is there into the market area? How was Durka getting away with that one? And Bang's just been ran over. Asana has to retreat, backing away to the site there with the help of Will, but all this utility being chucked to their way, right at the feet of Will, does not deter him. Not in the slightest. The spike is dropped, Alvia does claim it, but... And so just looking in a complete wrong direction, and Alvia tries to trade it out. Looking like they want to try and capitalize off this one. Cloudburst. Bladestorm online. Well, oh, Turkish was shut down, nevertheless. Enough of a reset of the aim, it means that 100 Thieves, one after the other, that's that Prime Gaming flawless. So we'll Hadn't closed the door at market. What a big miss. And the Prowler. On their exam. I mean, the Prowler just gave all the information in the world in this reflank. Bang was waiting for the perfect timing. Enzo being caught out. No more be main control. All the Fnatic players playing close to the site. Ilanbot is going to be triggering. And it is just chaos that's erupting all over the site. It's going to have to be that triple swing in the Clills. They need to be clean. And clean they are. Up to Stella. With this round for Fnatic, it's going to put them on that match point if they win this one. And it's within their hands, within their grasp. Stella he had the utility to use, he had the abilities, but at the end of the day, fell swoop. The C's over the top, that's locked Asana into a tight position. Dash into the cloud burst, there's no spam there to remove him, and this could be it. The finishing touches to an otherwise dominant performance from every single angle. <laughs> Taken. All the space. A poster just with the ult to be able to pinch from the other side too. They're looking to style on 100 Thieves. And it's a faster attempt there from 100 Thieves. They wouldn't be trying to take the fight to them with the Nightfall. Prowler does latch down. Can they get the spam kills? Doesn't look likely. Fnatic still have two players holding at the choke point, but still almost getting beamed down. And it is just down to Derek. He's clutched before, but in a 1v2 with 13 health, it's just so unlikely. Horn goes down, sticks it to half, and that is the final blow. <laughs>